Hey, so uh, this is uh, the build indicator that I built. Uh, it has a RGB LED in front, which indicates the build, so it can go red, green, and blue. And then it also has an uh, extra feature at the bottom, which <coughs> indicates the full build cycle, so for all the projects. So red is, that means one or more builds have failed. If it was green, it means all the builds within the Jenkins service is working. So, uh, firstly, to kick off a build, you can uh, do something like, when kicking off a build, it would make that sound and then turn blue. Uh, if the build fails, it will uh, turn red. Zap, zap, DB has failed. Mark, it's better to let someone think you are an idiot than to open your mouth and... <laughs> I want to know what happened to the so, so what it does is it explains which build has failed. It then insults the person that broke the build and uh, just plays a little clip at the end. And then it turns back to green. The reason for that is because uh, this was not a core build. The, the green indicates core build. So four of them are the four projects that I'm currently working on. So for any other project, it would just indicate it and then go back to natural state, which is green. Uh, if it succeeded, it would do the same thing. It would go. Uh, sorry. If it succeeded, it would just go green and play a little clip. Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. And there you have it. Uh, the, the, it also has Twitter integration, so I can go to Twitter and I can uh, s comment to Darth and tell it to uh, change the, the, the lightsaber to blue and just say demo is working. And if I tweet that, demo is working. It, it can then then translate that into, into whatever. Uh, it also has built in. Uh, Facial detection. <laughs> so if I go here and then I can talk to it. So. Yeah, Say something funny. Yeah, well, you check he's a speech blacklist. I am your father. And I can also get build status information. Build status. You have failed me. There are currently 50 builds on Jenkins with two builds failing. I can find out who failed it. Who failed? Sean Burns and Lauren Fields. And then uh, finally I can ask it any question. When was Terminator released? That's a really good question. <laughs> so they didn't know the answer. <laughs> um, there's a few more features. Uh, the one is if you uh, press the button, it will replay, That's a really good question. replay the last answer. If you press it again, it will give you all you have of failed the build me. information. There are currently 55 builds on Jenkins with two builds failing. If you press it again, it will give you information. The Zapri PM service last failed two hours ago. Which one it failed? It was last failed? modified by Sean Bruins. Uh, and then more information. The Zap Zap virtual shop last failed two hours ago. It was last modified by Lauren G. Rose. And then it has some summary information. The fastest build is deploy development zap zap virtual shop at five seconds per build. The slowest build is zap zap API at four minutes per build. And some, some build information. Deploy development zoom login plus sample merchant has 201 successful builds in a row. 
Zap Zap Virtual Shop has zero successful builds in a row. Yeah, that's it. That's my demo. Brilliant. Awesome.